former President Donald Trump held a rally in the Bronx and uh, it didn't go well. Oh no! Trump had claimed that 25,000 people had attended this massive rally on Thursday. In fact, even uh, Trump advisor Chris LaCivita uh, La told the New York Post that 20,000 people had signed up to attend, uh, but apparently there were much fewer in actual attendance. In fact, an NYPD officer had informed her partner of a report that she received from the NYPD's aviation team that's flying helicopters, uh, so they would see the crowd, right? They estimated about 3,500 people at this massive Bronx mega rally. Her partner, by the way, had replied with, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now, to be fair, 3,500 is the capacity of the park. And though, and, and there were some people outside, right? Uh, in fact, I, I wanna show you an image here. This is from ABC7, it's an aerial photo. And there you go. I mean, look, you can see very, very faintly uh, that Donald Trump appears to be, uh, to be addressing the crowd. All right, so look, you got obviously pretty decent crowd of people, uh, nowhere near 25,000. That's important to note that not all of the people who were gathered in the park were Trump supporters. Uh, in fact, there's a group of protesters. Uh, one actually held a sign saying, F Trump, F Biden, the people of the Bronx rerun this. All right, hey, there you go. Uh, now, Shereen King, a Bronx resident and former counselor for incarcerated youth, unloaded on Trump. <laughs> she said, he isn't the type to have a conversation. Trump gives orders like he's speaking to children, but he's the child who throws tantrums. Everything is a lie with him in his past, present, and future. So that's uh, yeah, uh, not a very warm welcome. Javette McCoy also voiced a similar uh, commentary uh, on the 45th president. Quote, I just don't like the man. I don't understand how a man who has done so much bad, so much corruption, someone who has set the races against each other can be welcome in the Bronx. He's not for the people. He's not even for his people. He's for Donald Trump. Uh, true. Another said, first of all, he's a big fat bigot and he just doesn't have any love in his heart for anyone, anyone of color, anyone who's in the LGBTQ plus community. I'm not surprised that ignorance is here and I choose to not be ignorant because I read books. Hey, uh, people in the Bronx, speaking out. Another woman pointed out something interesting. Uh, so she told ABC7 reporter Jim Dolan that many of the supporters that were there at the rally supporting Trump aren't from the Bronx. Well, they're all from out of state. Go out there, look at all them cars that are parked and check where they came from. Tennessee, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Texas. Hey, that, look, that's a, that's a fair point. I mean, we know how Trump fills his rallies. Remember in 2016, when he was announcing, he had to pay people out there to, uh, to be out there when he came down the escalator. So uh, that's how Trump rolls, right? No one is at all shocked that I would think the majority of the Bronx crowd is not from the Bronx, okay? <laughs> Paid to be there, uh, or just maybe even bust in, something like that. Uh, now, you also had Brooklyn City Council member Justin Brandon. So he posted that same uh, aerial photo that I showed you earlier um, on uh, social media, right? Saying this, we had more people in chambers for budget hearings. Ouch. That post immediately got some backlash from MAGA chuds who were having some serious copium. Uh, one said, too bad the picture is from seven hours before Trump's arrival. Trump's literally in that picture on the stage. The timestamp is from the 11 o'clock news. He was there, <laughs> not 11 in the morning, all right? That, that, that's not where the image is from. It was shown on the 11 o'clock news that night from earlier in the day while Donald Trump was literally speaking. Okay. <laughs> Another says, 35,000, Justin, cry harder. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I this, this is, this is the, this is the woe jack with, with the, uh, you know, crying face under it and the happy face over it. Okay. That's what, that's what that is.
<laughs> right there. I'm not crying. You're crying. Wait, who, who, who was talking about crying? <laughs> okay. But uh, by the way, I guess speaking of crying, um, yeah, there's a video here that might make some MAGA supporters cry. 